Ave Maria. Hello friends, my name is Francis Mary Obidike. Today, I want us to briefly reflect on the virtue of our Blessed Mother Mary, the virtue of continual prayer. The virtue of continual prayer. St. Louis Moray de Montfort identifies this as one of the ten principal virtues of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Conscious awareness of God's presence and willingness to do the will of God at all times. By continual prayer, we are taught to unite ourselves to God at all times as we go about our daily duties. The frequent conversation with God about any and everything that relates to our affairs at all times. So this does not necessarily mean spending all day in church or chapel praying. How our Blessed Mother Mary demonstrated continual prayer. In meditation, Our Lady lived her life continually in the presence of God, always contemplating on the mysteries that unfolded in her life. You remember, you should remember that the mysteries of the rosary that we meditate upon and pronounce when we pray, she lived through them. You can imagine what some of the experiences would mean for her. She pondered them in her heart. Even after the three wise men visited them and spoke all they were told about the angels, the Bible tells us in Luke chapter 2 verse 8, And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. And in verse 19 it says, But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. Again, the same gospel according to St. Luke chapter 2, we were told about the prophecies of Simeon and Anna and the finding of Jesus in the temple. Why were you searching for me? He asked them. Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? But they, had, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. Then he went down to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them. But his mother treasured all things. His, but his mother treasured all these things in her heart. Luke chapter 2, verse 49 to 51. How can we live out this virtue? How can we live out this virtue? First, I would say that we do not that we should not worry about certain situations in our lives that we cannot understand or we have no power over. Our Lady treasured everything in her heart, even though she did not understand them at the time. The prophecy of Simeon about this word piercing her, the heart of Mary was something sorrowful and frightening, but she chose to stay in prayer instead of worrying about it. We, we have many situations and challenges in our lives that we have no solution to, but what best can, can we do if not to offer them to God in prayer? Secondly, commune with the Lord at all times, sharing your thoughts, desires, imaginations, and, and activities. I know some people, when they are doing house chores, they sing some gospel songs, knowingly or unknowingly uniting themselves to Christ. But you can extend it to things like going out. When you're going out, you say, Holy Spirit of God, come and go with me. When you are at work and you receive good recommendations from your bosses, you say, oh, Holy Spirit, did you see what my boss said about me today? When good things come your way in your business, in your place of academic, oh, Holy Spirit, I got good grades in my assessments. Uh, thank you so much for inspiring me to write well. And so many things that are in everything that we do, we tend to work with the Spirit of God. We unite ourselves to God at all times. And I tell you, when we unite ourselves at all times with God, Sin still remains very far away from us because we find it hard and difficult to let sin penetrate us at those moments. And lastly, but not the least, I encourage you to make out time to pray. It is extremely important to set aside time for prayer and reflection. Visitation of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, Rosary, Holy Mass, etc., etc. In these ways, we can, in these ways, 
we can imitate our Blessed Mother Mary, her virtue of purity. We can imitate her virtue of purity and live more holy lives. And I pray for you that at the end of our lives here on earth, we will be blessed with the beatific vision. We will be able to see God face to face to the glory of the Most Holy Trinity. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.